Hi, Alia. Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily Langowitz. My parents are members of Temple Beth Elohim. I am a proud Havaya graduate of 2008, and I am here in Jerusalem for the year for my first year of rabbinical school at Hebrew Union College. Um, I've been here for a little bit over four months, and Brett, who was once my youth advisor at Nifty, contacted me and said you guys had a Shabbaton this weekend and was hoping I would send a short message from Israel to uh, wish you guys a Shabbat Shalom and give you a little update on what life is like here. Um, I would love to talk to you about all the different exciting things going on here in Israel, the different types of challenges, whether it's from finding the best place to eat falafel, how to interact with Israelis, what it's like to be a female rabbinical student in Jerusalem, what it's like to be a reformed Jew in Israel, uh, what it's like to be surrounded by the Hebrew language and by Jewish culture uh, all the time. But I think it's also really important, given what's been going on for the last few days, to talk to you a little bit about the current situation that's happening uh, between Hamas and Gaza, who have been firing rockets into Israel, over 400 rockets in the past three days, um, and what's going on uh, here right now. Uh, to give you a little picture, I'm going to tell you about what happened for me this Shabbat. Um, every Friday in Jerusalem, we have a Shabbat siren. So the siren goes off, it's one long sound. And it goes off uh, in the evening to let everyone know that Shabbat has started, that the week is over, and um, families get together, everyone has dinners, people are attending services, the city gets very quiet, very peaceful. Uh, so this week, the siren went off as, as usual, and about less than an hour later, we heard a second siren. This one goes up and down in pitch, and that's how you know that that's the airstrike siren, uh, which is a warning that a possible airstrike is coming into the region. So uh, as you can imagine, it's a very strange experience to have. It's something that hasn't happened in Jerusalem since 1970, and happens in southern cities in Israel, and has been happening for the past 10 years, on and off, sometimes every day, sometimes every hour. Um, so there is a lot going on here, a lot of real difficulty, a lot of sadness on both sides. Um, if you're interested in keeping on top of what's going on, haaretz.com is a great news source, an Israeli newspaper, it's in English. Um, I just want to make you guys aware that Israel is an amazing, beautiful place place that the Jewish people have been connected to for a long, long time. It's also a place full of a lot of conflict, a lot of separation and division and difficulty, um, and a lot right now, a lot of uh, fear and a lot of sadness um, and a lot of suffering on both sides of the conflict. Um, but as we're going to read in a couple of weeks in the, in the Parsha in Baishlach, when Jacob wrestles with a, a being or an angel on one side of the river before he goes to meet his brother, uh, he is renamed Israel, which means in Hebrew, uh, struggler, struggler with God. Um, it teaches us that in this state, regardless of all of its uh, ups and downs and its confusion and its difficulties and its real challenges that the best thing for us to do is to stay knowledgeable and to stay aware and to continue struggling with these things that are going on and with the feelings that we have and with uh, how we relate to other Jews and to other people and uh, to the entire situation. So I want to wish you all again a very wonderful Shabbat and a Shavuot Tov. It's already, uh, Shabbat's already over here in Israel. Uh, I also want to say that if you guys have any questions for me about what it's like in Israel, about what it's like in rabbinical school, any questions at all that you uh, want to send my way, please ask Brett or ask uh, Rabbi Sissimoy, Rabbi Sapphire, or Cantor Sephiro. They all have my contact information and they can get you guys in touch with me. Um, and I will just say again, Shavuot Tov. Enjoy the rest of your Shabbaton.